Hello again, this is Daniel Feynman, and welcome to Finance for the Non-Financial Business Executive, Module 4. What the three pillars of finance really mean, or how various costs play into this. So we've looked at accounting, we've looked at finance in the first couple of steps. In this module, we're going to separate out accounting from finance at the next level. What really are the main differences? We're going to look at finance from the standpoint of the art of finance, because finance is really a combination of art, the decisions we make, the subjective part, and the science, the objective part. We need to understand how finance and accounting are both linked and yet at the same time different. We'll look at the three pillars of finance, working capital, capital structure, capital budgeting, and how we look at each of these as we're looking at the financial statements and what we do with this information. We'll look at leasing, which seems to constantly be changing these days, from an operating lease standpoint or the short term to the capital leases, the long term, and what some of the financial as well as legal obligations really are. We'll look at costs from the standpoint of what are fixed costs, what are the variable costs, what are the combination or mixed costs, and how we really can use these to calculate, for example, a break-even relationship. Not that any of us want break-even, but what it tells us from an analysis as well as a planning standpoint. And we'll look at break-even and actually calculate it at not one, not two, but three different levels. And that's the spreadsheet that is included in this particular module. Based on the information you can gather, you can calculate and understand the break-even at the three different levels. So until next time, this is Daniel Feynman saying, have fun with finance.